see you this morning. Now, if you have a really sweet tooth, as I do, and you always feel like having to resist sweet mm. treats just to stick to the recommendation of not having too much yeah. sugar, then you're going to be really disappointed and frustrated because the recommended amount of sugar in your diet could be cut in half, even though it already feels like not very much. Yeah, and it? as though we're probably going over what's recommended now, which exactly. I think is 12 teaspoons a mm. day uh, of sugar. The government advisers are expected to publish these new recommendations. It's all, of course, because of growing obesity and diabetes. And we, I was reading the other day that there are more amputations going on at the moment because of diabetes. I mean, yeah. there's a huge crisis going on, isn't there, about yeah. sugar in our diets. And Richard Gaysford has been finding out how challenging it really would be for one family to control their sugar intake. If they need to stay up late for something, then I would let them have a pudding because it keeps them going a bit longer. Is it, this is the crisps and biscuits. This is crisps and biscuits. And yes. what's down here, Vaughn? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, the, <laughs> in here we have sugar-free squash and the, the cereals. What's in that? <laughs> <laughs> I dread to think. Well, Varner, it sounds to me like you might well need a visit from the GMB sugar-free expert. I might need to, yes. <laughs> It is very challenging to try and feed our children what they want and what's good for them. There's something like this, it's got three different types of sugar, glucose syrup, sugar and fructose syrup, which are horrific sugars on young systems. The kids tend not to favour the sugar-free things as much. So that's why you need to maybe make things up at home on your own. I know it's harder, it's more challenging, it takes more time as a working mum. But it's actually worth the effort to have a sugar-free muffin, a banana sugar-free muffin that you've made. Leon could eat pops of hummus. Like, see, this is you a great snack. I don't like hummus. How are <laughs> you? <laughs> Oh, well, so there you go. Join us now. I know Dr. Seem Hotra, who's the consultant cardiologist who led the campaign raising awareness about sugar. And it's been successful. We're all very aware now of the fact that sugar sneaks into our diet even when we don't know it. It's not that easy, though, to retrain our taste buds and get our children to eat it, as you saw there. Well, you're absolutely right. So, I mean, I very much welcome these new recommendations, which essentially say that we should be consuming no more a maximum lim limit of six teaspoons of sugar per day. And mm. this includes fruit juice, smoothies, as well as honey, for example. But the problem we have is we, we know about half of sugar consumption is actually hidden sugars. Mm. So it mm. makes it very difficult for consumers to actually know how much sugar they're consuming. And this is because the food industry have added to about 80% of processed foods. We know the average UK citizen from dietary surveys is consuming at least two to three times the new limit recommendation. So you look at the packet. So, I mean, obviously, don't put yeah. sugar in your tea and all of that if you want to cut down on it, but the, the sneaky sugars, if you like. Yeah. You're looking at the packet of food. What are you looking for to make it OK? That's a very good question. So uh, the simple way of, of understanding this is looking at the number of grams of sugar, which is usually on the label. Four grams is one teaspoon. So six teaspoons is 24 grams, and if you don't go over that limit, then your health is going to be in much better shape. So you should look for four grams or less in, in, in things you're buying? Well, I think in a total in a day, less than 24 See, this grams. This is quite hard, you know, because <laughs> I, it all I've up. only just started, and this is quite bad mothering, but I've only just started making my own tomato pasta sauce, right? So I was used to buy it from the jars. The jars have got a lot of sugar in, haven't they? And actually, I would think, I mean, you, you know which ones I'm talking about. They do, sure. don't they? And actually, you think, I'm giving my son quite a healthy diet, I think. But actually, when I tot it up, he has smoothies. He, he'll occasionally have this pasta sauce from a jar. He'll have, he won't have any chocolate, but he will have other things. You might have an ice lolly in the hot weather. And you think, God, you know, you try your best, and it's really hard. And it's hard because it adds up. I think that's adds the point. Up. That's yeah. the yeah. point over so the day. And, and, and if you're, say, having a small piece of that cake, but 100 grams doesn't relate to that, you've got to try and get out a calculator and work a percentage of what that is. Yeah. It's very complicated. Sure. Well, I think the labelling, usually, if people can, I, I think what the government needs to do is pressurise the food industry yes. to actually put a number of teaspoons people understand That's teaspoons right. put a number of teaspoons on the labeling ah, makes so it very simple that, so cut it recommend for absolutely half and put a number of teaspoons and what do you in. think about this idea of you know sort of taxing putting extra tax on on those companies who put too much sugar in their well, food, it, hidden sugars essentially. Yeah, very good point actually. So Oxford researchers have calculated that if it, we put a 20% tax on sugary drinks, that would reduce consumption enough to prevent about 180,000 people in the UK becoming obese within one year. So it really would have a big effect. And we know sugary drinks themselves are actually responsible for tens of thousands of deaths worldwide from diabetes, from heart disease yes. and even cancer. So really I would call sugary drinks really mini health time bombs. Wow.
Goodness. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Indeed. And we'll be giving some more of that because we've got um, sun, sea, and sugar free. Yes, Tonya Box, and our nutritionist is in talking about how we can try yes. and reduce the amount of sugar in She's our diet. Given me so this fun. morning. Yeah, I know. Have you tried it? Ban yet? No, I haven't. Banana, date, walnut, rye flour, and a bit of olive oil. Apparently, you should try it. I'm trying and it. And then let us know what you yeah, think.